Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in for another Market Outlook by Exnes. My name is Andreas Evstokleus, Trading Specialist here at Exnes and in today's video we are going to be checking on a possible trading idea for the next few days, the narratives behind it and which economic data could potentially affect this trade. But before we proceed, let's check on the performance of last week's idea. Last week, the idea was for a long trade on the Exxon Mobil stock if it was to break above the 119.50 area. This level was not reached yet, therefore the idea was not triggered. Now, for this week, we have with us Michael Stark, Financial Content Manager, to provide the trading idea of this week. Hello, Michael, and thanks for being with us. Hello, Andres. Thank you very much, Bill. So what are your thoughts for this week? This week I'm looking at a potential buy for crude oil, uh, specifically American light oil, from around the current area of approximately 88.10 to 88.15, and the possible target might be around $92. And I think that's a possible short-term upward wave within the context of a larger upward wave. We can see that at the moment, after a fairly sharp correction um, over the last few days, the price is no longer within the overbought area, and uh, it's currently testing the 20 simple moving average on the daily chart so it's possible that that zone might be a possible area of a bounce and it might retest the latest tie. Mm -hmm. And what would you say are the narratives uh, behind this idea? The primary narrative I think of the long term is definitely the extension of the voluntary cuts by Saudi Arabia and by Russia. That's very important that they've cut quite a significant amount of production and it's likely that if the current situation continues we might have a deficit in the oil market um, towards the end of the year. And it's also um, important in the shorter term to monitor I think the production from the USA because well it's almost impossible for USA to make up the shortfall for production still we can see that the American production is decreasing increasing based on the number of active rigs. But I suppose the counterpoint to that is that um, Russia has to some extent eased its ban on exports of fuel. So that's something that's cautiously negative for oil. And we can also certainly highlight monetary policy with many participants and markets expecting the Fed and other central banks to remain higher for longer. In particular for the Fed, it now seems unlikely that there's going to be cuts before July of next year. Um, so we can contrast that definitely with expectations earlier in the year. So, I mean, it's not very clear fundamentally which way it's going but in the long term i think certainly the narrative is positive for crude oil and what are the economic data or events on the economic calendar that the traders need to pay attention to if they were to proceed with this trade? The main one for this week is American GDP, which is happening on Thursday. That's a very important release, the final figure for second quarter GDP. And we're also looking ahead on Saturday and Sunday to Chinese PMIs, which might be important since China is uh, the main consumer of crude oil. And uh, we also want to look possibly at personal consumption expenditures, which is happening on Friday. That's probably not been Directly effective for oil, but um, is something that could be important for the US dollar. And since oil is usually priced in dollars, it might cause oil to move. So, in summary, the trading idea for this week is a long position on crude oil with a potential target around the 92 price area. The main narratives are the production cuts, lowering the supply, and the Russian export bans. The economic data that could affect this trade are mainly the US GDP and the Chinese PMI publications that are going to be released later this week. Week. Thank you, Michael, for providing the training idea for this week. That's okay. Thanks for inviting me on. Remember, this is not a signal. It is just an idea for a trade. It is not a guarantee of success. Always do your own research and remember to manage risks.